hello welcome to my channel my name is angie and i have a short word from my lord he started giving me messages on the 7th of january 2024 when we consecrate a fast for seven days to draw closer to the father to hear his heart to know his heart and to live it on the very first day of that seven day fast he started giving me messages this is a message from him receive it by his spirit and make a heart decision every day if it's not of the spirit of god you don't receive it and thus not be deceived by spirit's words that are spoken not of him you only want to see from him so holy spirit minister to their hearts now as i share this very short message from our lord about destiny helpers father's releasing his destiny helpers he spoke to this in my quiet time with him i am releasing my destiny helpers they will ensure you fulfill your destiny in me to walk in my ways to life everlasting According to the steps, I predestined you to walk. I will raise you up in my kingdom. I heard spiritual ranking. As kings and priests. You will walk in the fruits of my imperishable seed. Immortality in me. Life forevermore. Ooh, says our Lord. Oh, oh, his presence is strong. Oh, that's nice, Lord. Let it be released upon your children too. Your manifest presence. Your glory. Thank you, Lord. Oh, see, that's their words from the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. I know that. And as you grow in him, you will learn to discern that too. You will discerned by the spirit of god what is him and what is not that's him just as i spoke those words whoa in exodus 19 5 to 6 now therefore if you indeed obey my voice and keep my commandments my covenant then you shall be a special treasure to me above all people for all the earth is mine and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. 1 Peter 2, 4 to 5. Coming to him, Lord Jesus, as a living stone, rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious. You also, as living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Revelations 1, 5 to 6 To him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father to him be glory and dominion Forever and ever. Amen. 1 Peter 1.23 Having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible, through the word of God, which lives and abides forever. Amen. Amen. Destiny helpers can be a person whom the Lord will bring alongside you to help you, guide you in the things of him, to fulfill your destiny in him. It can be holy angels that have been assigned for you to fulfill your destiny. If you're in ministry, you have holy angels to help you in that ministry. I've seen the holy angels that are here to help my husband and I in ministry. But there are, if you're not in ministry, they're there to help you fulfill Father's will his purposes for your life and through your life. 
his will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. He has released destiny helpers. Claim that. Take it. Say thank you, Father, for destiny helpers that come into my life. And also ask to be a destiny helper. Help someone else. Lead and guide them. Uphold them in the truth that is our Lord Jesus by the Spirit of God. Be a destiny helper to someone else. Father, I've released your message. I thank you for immortality in you. Imperishable seed. It is your word. A sowing of your seed to bear fruit in our lives and through our lives. Your word is truth. Sanctify us by your truth. I thank you for your words, Father, from heaven. Words from your heart to your heart to the hearts of your children. In Jesus' name. To your glory, Father, always to your glory. We give you the praise. We give you the praise, my Lord. You're the high and lofty one, the holy one. He sits upon the throne in heaven. Hallelujah. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. In your Father's timing and by his spirit. God bless you all. Bye-bye.